bit windy, but the fans still here supporting their Washington Spirit team, which leads the Chicago Red Stars 1-0 after the first half of play. And the first of two NWSL semifinals we'll have for you in FS1 this weekend. Jen Hildreth, Kendra D. St. Aubin, and our guest up here in our little tent, Jill Ellis, U.S. National Team coach. What do you think of the action so far? Well, it's good. I mean, I think D.C. Were, were building, and I think the goal was inevitable. But, uh, you know, I'm sure Rory has some choice words in the <laughs> locker room, and I think Chicago will definitely come out a bit more inspired. Well, and he's a pretty good motivator with his words. What kind of adjustments do you think Cabrera is going to make on the other side, or does he even need to make any for how good his team has been playing? Well, the biggest thing is he's got to make sure he deals with the counter. And, and so I think, you know, he's got to be a little bit conservative and make sure press isn't left alone. But, um, you know, at the moment, Chicago's direct ball, they've got nothing underneath to support it. So uh, I think they're going to have Chicago will definitely have to adjust and, and pick it up a little bit. Well, let's talk about the U.S. team a little bit. Had a couple of friendlies this past month, a couple more coming up in October. What is the calendar like? And, and what are you and your staff looking at and doing right now? Yeah, well, I mean, prioritizing two things, and, and it was um, making sure we have an aggressive schedule. We can't afford to to not play the top teams and, and have any down year. Everything we're doing now is preparing for, you know, the next major event. So I think the aggressive schedule is important. And then um, looking for players, you know, just continuing to expand our pool. Um, now's the time. A major world event's a few years away. So it's, it's definitely a chance to look at other players. Well, we talk about looking at other players. You've got a great league here that you can come out in and examine. You've got a great pool you're already choosing from. Then you've got the U-17 World Cup going on, the U-20 World Cup. So much young talent. Is it a good problem to have with the plethora of talent you guys have out there? It is. It's fantastic. I mean, obviously at this point, you know, making sure we're vetting the league and, um, you know, rewarding players that have done well that we think, you know, deserve a look in our environment. That's important. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've seen that the 17s, I think they, they start tomorrow mm -hmm. and they are a fantastic little team. So yeah, and, and they're going to be 16-17 and I think at this point, yeah, no player is too young. Mm -hmm. So you've got the two U17, U20 World Cups, as Kendra talked about, but how much of a benefit is to you? I know we've talked to you before, NWSL, and being able to see the talent here and see these players play at this level, how much does that help you? Um, I mean, for sure, because, uh, you know, they're in a professional environment, and it's different when you suddenly now play against women uh, week in and week out. It's different than even, you know, the college environment. So I think that's that's really important. I think we've attracted good international players, which obviously adds more to our league. Um, but I think for us, it's just making sure how players have a place to play. And, uh, you know, especially right now, it's a critical time because obviously we're not in, you know, our programming is going to be main, mainly FIFA events, uh, FIFA dates. So, you know, making sure these players have a place to play is vital. Everyone has said how competitive the league has been top to bottom. So sure appreciate you stopping by as you take in this playoff match. Thanks so much for having me. Well, that was U.S. National Team coach Jill Ellis joining us tonight here just north of Washington, D.C. coming up on Sunday. Semifinal number two taking place from Portland as the Thorns take on the Western New York Flash. Portland won the last meeting three to two. We were there for it, expecting a lot of offense once again. That match kicks off at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 Pacific on FS1 on Sunday. We'll have much more from the half here for you from the Maryland Soccer Plex. So be sure to stick with us. The Spirit lead it 1-0. Hey guys, somebody in that line can bring a hot apple cider up to the booth anytime. <laughs> the Washington Spirit leading the Chicago Red Stars 1-0 after the first half here at the Maryland Soccer Plex. And Crystal Dunn was busy in this first half for the Spirit. It was fun to watch her get her groove on. She just rifled that shot and hits that post. And so many corner kicks for Washington. You just felt like it was only a matter of time before they were going to find a way to finish. And what a beautiful ball in by Shalina Zadorsky. And who else but Ali Krieger getting on the end of it. A little flick on. Somehow she finds herself inside of her mark on that far post. Beautiful service from Zadorsky. Her first assist of the season at the moment has the spirit out in front. They have not lost this season when they've led at the half. Second half action coming up.